When I went to high school, the very first night when I came home, in the very first page, I did not know 64 words. So I realized that I should create a habit for myself. At night, I was trying to find the words that I did not know. In the early morning, 6 o'clock, I was in the street and trying to memorize the words. That way, I went to high school for one semester, and I thought that I learned the language. Afterward, I went to Brigham Young University, and I resumed my graduate work. I got my first master's degree in economics. I had 51 points. 31 of them were A's, and 20 were B's. Don't think that I'm bragging about myself. I just want to tell you, nothing is impossible. At any rate, after being on debit for a few months, I decided to quit. I realized that is not the job. I went to my wife, and I convinced her that I should. This is not my job. She said, well, that's it. I decided to quit. Now, bear in mind that there are many philosophies that I don't believe in. One of them is failure. I don't believe in failure. One day I was talking, walking in the street, and I was talking to myself. Mehdi, you are preaching, you are telling to everybody that you don't believe in failure. You are living metropolitan life. This is a failure. In the middle of the street, I decided to stay with the company, prove that I can be successful, then I will leave. <laughs> believe me. Believe me, I don't believe that I'm successful. To write six, eight, ten million dollars, that's not a success. To be number one in Metropolitan, that is not a success. Do you know what is my ambition? Do you know what is my goal? Do you know what is my hope? To surpass Ben Feldman someday. <laughs> Pro probably I never do it. Probably I never do it. But in Iran we say, Lazati ke dar farag has dar vasal niz. The excitement. The anxiety, the enjoyment, reaching the goal is 100 times more when you reach the goal. Because when you reach the goal, there is no more any anxiety. But besides hard work, I put two other things in my work. Number one is thinking big. Thinking big. I can never forget, a few years ago, I was coming like you people doing MDRT. Frank Sullivan was on, and he was telling that, go and talk to people for $1 million policy. I said to myself, this man is out of his mind. <laughs> he, think, he knows big people, and he thinks that everybody has $1 million app uh, applicant. But to myself, I said, God bless the one who gave an advice, and so on. I went, and I worked at it. Last year, I wrote four policies, each one of them for $1 million. This year, so far, I have written five of them, each one of them for $1 million. 